So tonight, I want us to talk about the Holy Spirit. And my message tonight is about the Holy Spirit. The topics will be changing as we go, but in the beginning, we'll talk about the Holy Spirit. And our first scripture we'll be reading is Joel chapter 2 verse 28. The scripture said, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Can we read together? One thing to go read. I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, from the scripture we just read, there is a prophecy by Prophet Joel. It shall come to pass. Now, in the book of John chapter 14, Jesus is now explaining a bit further. When we read from verse 15, mm. Jesus is explaining a very important subject. If you love me, keep my commandments. Go ahead. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. All right, so, and I'll pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. forever. Please, I was explaining this earlier on. I want you to see the scripture there. The word there is with. He will abide with. And this is a very good foundational understanding that is needed in this matter. So the Holy Spirit will be with. Say so with. with. I can repeat this teaching again and again in the beginning of my subject. Because where we are going is very far. I will take you into a lot of realms in this teaching that will need you to understand that the reason the Holy Spirit is coming, only one job, with. Say so with. So the Holy Spirit is with you. I, I, are you here? The Bible says, and how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. With. So, the reason the Holy Spirit is there is to be with you. So, with. And the scripture says, Jesus says, I'll ask the Father to give you another helper. Say, helper. Palakrit. Another helper. Now, 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 now. I was illustrating earlier on. I was saying, if I'm standing here and I want to pick up this puppet from here, the chances to pick this puppet up are probably maybe zero but it's so heavy but when i ask someone to come and help me the chances are 100 that will pick this up and will put it somewhere else why because that person is the helper are you here right so there are things i cannot carry alone there are projects i cannot handle alone there are prayers I cannot pray alone. There are fastings I cannot do alone. I need a helper. So the Holy Spirit comes in as a helper. But the biggest problem is we still have people who are praying without a helper in their mindset. So we have people who are on their own say, I've been praying for a long time, nothing is changing. 
we still have people who are praying right now father lord i pray oh father they don't even know that that type of prayer is wrong you need a helper huh in romans 8 verse 26 the bible says what it says likewise the spirit also does what help us in our weaknesses mm -hmm. for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself thank makes you. intercession for thank us you. thank you uh -huh. with the groanings which cannot be uttered so do you understand that yes. makes intercessions mm. the spirit makes intercessions praise now until one day you should be delivered out of this knowledge where you think you are praying it is in the old testament they prayed in the new testament we have the helper who helps us to pray so when i am praying i pray with the holy spirit let me this is a very important foundation that i should inform you again when we pray we pray to the father through the son with the holy spirit so the father is on the throne the son is on the right hand side the spirit is on earth so when i'm praying there are people who actually think god will send the holy spirit from heaven father lord send your holy spirit he is already here do you understand that he was already said he's no longer in heaven he's on earth right now the holy spirit is on earth it is jesus who's not on earth he's with the father at the right hand side of the father he only come on rapture the only one on earth right now is the spirit why he want to be with you he want to help you somebody say i'm hearing you prophet so if i want to make an effective prayer if i want to make an effective prayer i need the holy spirit so people say i've been praying and i'm not being answered it's because you pray but the scripture that says if you have the spirit he makes intercessions on your behalf So when i pray i pray to the father not to jesus if you say lord jesus i ask you lord jesus that you open my life lord jesus you are great i ask you lord jesus that everything about me must change lord jesus sounds nice right but wrong of course it's not a wrong prayer but not effective Because we don't ask anything to Jesus. He said, If you shall ask the Father in my name, not if you if you shall ask me. Come on, sometimes I hear you, prophet. So we don't pray to Jesus, we pray to the Father through Jesus. So the reason why prayers are not effective enough, people are praying to the Holy Spirit and people are praying to Jesus, not to the Father. Jesus, oh, we read that in John 14 verse 6. What does the Bible say? No one comes to the Father except through the Son. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Read again. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one comes to the Father. I want that part. Everybody read together. No one, no one comes to the Father except through me. No one comes to the Father except through. So who's Jesus? Jesus is the way to the Father. 
Jesus is the way to the Father. Your prayer has got a way, access to the Father through Jesus. So your prayers do not, Jesus is not the last destination. What have I said? Can you imagine people saying, ah, I don't know why Jesus is doing this to me. <laughs> Jesus is not the last destination of your prayer. He is a way. You understand? He is a what? He is a way. In John 14, 13, what does the scripture say? The scripture say, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Whatsoever you ask in whose name? In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Exactly. So you don't ask to him. He said, whatsoever you ask in my name. You understand that? So we don't pray to Jesus. We pray to who? To the Father. Through who? Jesus. And I've said, it's not wrong to say, Jesus, do this. Because the Bible says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I and my Father are one. However, an effective way of prayer, it is when you ask the Father through the Son. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that any demonic prosperity that is happening against my children, that you deliver them. I ask this to you, the Father. Through your son, Jesus, you are making an effective prayer. You are asking the Father through the Son. And who is helping you in that prayer? The Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit helps you to pray. He is there to help you. I was saying, and I want you to hear this. I was saying this. So the Father, because people actually are confused. Like, so how is God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit? He is one God. Ever seen an orange? An orange, if you peel it off, it's not one. It has a lot of segments. It doesn't mean that there are many oranges. No, it's one. But you can actually have another segment, another segment. Am I talking to somebody here? Exactly. So, God is the only one who is able to actually, he can actually behave as a son. He can be the, 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 the father and he can be the spirit. Just like you, you have the body, the soul, and the spirit. When you die, they will not say we are going to get the body. They want to say we are going to get. They want to say we are going to get so so in the mortuary. They will say we are going to get the remains because so so is gone. Oh, did you just hear that? So so is gone. So meaning to say there is a huge difference between the body, the soul, and the spirit. Because the person is gone, which is the spirit. The person is gone, he can't think anymore. That is the soul. So God is the father, he is the son, and he is the spirit. The three are one God. There is no God the son without the father. And there is no father without the day. spirit. Just like you are, there is no you without the body, and there is no body without your soul, and there is no soul without your spirit. Am I talking to you? But if I look at you right now and I say, Give me this phone, it is not, it is, listen to me, it is not the spirit that will give me the phone. The body has to do it. But this body, if the spirit is not there, it will not respond because it needs the spirit. And he needs the soul. Oh, uh uh. So when I say, give me the phone, it means his mind, his soul is active. And the spirit in him is there. So the body will act. So without the soul, he cannot give me the phone. So he can have the phone with him here, but the moment he sleeps and he's dreaming that he's somewhere else. Even if I say, give me the phone, he wants to give it. And he's in front of me, but his spirit is gone to the dreamland. Until I wake him up, and the spirit comes in, and then he will give me the phone. So the father, the, the son, and the spirit, they work in the same way. That you cannot ask the father without the son. And you cannot ask the son without the spirit.
So we have people who actually remove the Holy Spirit out of the picture. They just talk to the Father. Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Shaka Baba. Even that Shaka Baba is the Spirit praying. They don't even know about it. Shaka Baba Baba Baba. Hey Baba Baba Baba. Baba. They don't even know the Baba 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 is the Spirit. And I even thinking like I don't even know. I've been praying. I don't even go answer me. Who's doing Shaka Baba Baba? You will tell me maybe you are lying. As long as it is the Spirit praying on your behalf, giving you thanks, praying on your behalf, then we have the confidence. Because I am not praying alone. I am praying with God because the Spirit is God. He's in the Trinity of the Father. So can you imagine the Holy Ghost coming to help me? Can you imagine the Spirit of God helping a shepherd? As weak as I am, as weak as you are, the spirit god himself coming on earth to help you pray because he knows how you can pray to the father he knows you are weak he knows you cannot utter a prayer that can move god in heaven so the spirit helps you to pray say in the name of jesus I thank you, Holy Ghost.